Hey YouTube, it's Stay Day Beauty Talk here and today I'm about to be doing my mom's makeup on camera for the first time. So if you're interested in seeing me do my mom's makeup, just make sure to keep watching this video. Okay, so whenever I'm doing makeup, I always start out with a good primer for my mom. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. It's really good at reducing shine and if you have oily skin, it's really good at making sure your skin doesn't get oily throughout the day. So I just dab it on. This is the same way I do for myself. I just dab it on and then put it all around. I know it feels kind of sticky and rough, but it's actually really good because it makes sure the makeup stays in place and it really sticks to your skin. And now that I've got that on, I'm going to be going in with the same thing that I use on my skin. My Kat Von D foundation and I will leave a link to it in the description box. I always dab some on a sponge the same way I do for myself. Just dabbing it all over her skin and pressing it into her skin the same way that I would for myself. I make sure I blend it all the way around the neckline because you don't want your makeup to look like a mask. And get another dab for the other side of her face. Now one more pump for the nose and forehead. Now that we have... <laughs> Now that we have the foundation on, I have a smooth canvas for me to work for for the rest of the makeup. So the next thing that I do is I go in with my Kat Von D Concealer Cream. And I'm going to use it under her eyes because we both get hereditary bags under our eyes. So I always have to put it under my eyes and I'm going to put some underneath of her eyes as well. This concealer is really strong. A little bit of it is definitely going to be more than enough. I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit while I go in with the contour. And for her contour, I'm going to be using the bottom middle color, which is shade Shadow Play. Just gonna take a line going from in front of her ear down towards her mouth for the contour. And then I'm going to use the same shade for her nose as well, just to give a slight contour to her nose. I actually also use this for eyeshadow. After I've gotten those contours on, I'm going to go in with the same shade and use it on her eyelids as well as an eyeshadow. Ow! Oh, just that kidding. <laughs> I've got those contours on. I'm going to go ahead and blend those out before I actually blend out the concealer just to get that a little bit longer to sink into her skin. I'm using my sponge to blend it out because that still pushes it into your skin while taking away any excess product. I'm also going to use this to blend out the contour on her nose. I am actually going to use a brush just to spread it out even more just to make sure it's not too much of a harsh line look on her face. And then for the nose, I kind of like to squeeze the brush just to make sure it's the right size to blend out the sides of her nose. Can you use a fan brush for this or what do you use a fan brush for? I don't even own a fan brush. You actually could use a fan brush for this, but I like to use one of these because it's stronger and it makes it easier to blend it out. A fan brush is mainly used for like highlighters or something that you want to apply, but you want to apply it very lightly and just dust it on your skin. Now that I've got that contour blended out, I'm going to go back in with the same sponge that I used for the foundation and concealer and use that to blend out the concealer underneath of her eyes. Just pushing it into her skin, not really moving it around at all because I want it to stay where I put it at. Smaller tip on the sponge to get in the corner of her eyes. Okay, now that we've got that contour and highlight and foundation applied, it's looking really good. But just to make sure it all stays on there all day, I am going to sit it all with my sitting powder. But just to make sure it lasts all day, this is the same one that I used in my first video, the same one where the label is gone. But it is by All May. And I'm just going to dust it all over her face just to make sure that foundation sticks into her skin and doesn't go anywhere all day. And this really mattifies the skin as well because I do not like my skin to look shiny anywhere except for where I put the highlighter. So I work 12 hour shifts, is this gonna last? 
This will actually last. The setting powder really just finishes it off, but the foundation itself is a 24 hour wear foundation. So allegedly it can last up to 24 hours long. Okay, now that I've got that done, I'm going to go in with her eyebrows. I just comb them straight upward. And then now I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to go in with the darkest color and use a very tiny brush. Show them this. this. Oh yeah, we got a new one. This is what it looks like yes. when you don't know how to do your makeup. She got this the new is one. what it looks like when you know how to do your makeup. These have not been touched. Yeah, I use this all the time so it is a hot mess. So I take the darkest color and I'm using just a very tiny brush just to fill in her eyebrows. Okay, now I've got her eyebrows on, and as y'all can tell, it is already looking great. Now I'm going to go in with the highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter, the one that I'm wearing on my face right now. It is by Artist Couture. I have a video all about this highlighter, so I will leave the link to that in the description box as well. I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of this highlighter because it is a very strong highlighter. And I'm going to dab it on the high points of her cheeks. Doing the same thing for the other side, obviously. And now you can see how her skin is glowing. Look at and how it tickles. It <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of it just down the center of her nose, just to contrast with that contour we have going on on the sides of her nose. Now she has got a highlighted glow. Look at how radiant her skin is. Next, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It is my favorite drugstore mascara. It's only like $8. Now, what do you want me to do? Kind of look boring. And down, <laughs> kind of forward, forward and down, like this, this, but like looking down, like your eyes open. No, like, look at me. This, all right. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to make her lips look fuller and plumper by using a lip liner and a lipstick. The lip liner is by Wet n Wild, it is in color Red the Scene, and the lip color is by Ramel London in color Alarm. So I'm going to start out with the lip liner and outline her bottom lip and overline her top lip just a little bit just to make them look a little bit bigger. Okay, now that I've got her lip liner applied, I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in the rest of the way with this lipstick. So there we go, we've got her lipstick applied, and I do feel like her lips look quite a bit fuller. I could make her top lip look a little bit bigger, but I'm not trying to look crazy. Okay, so this is the finished result. Her skin looks amazing, and her lips look amazing as well. Her highlight is radiant. Everything looks great. If you all like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, like my video, and subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday. Thank you so much for watching, and just have a wonderful day, everybody. And I love you. Thank you for doing this for me. I love you. So pretty. I never, I never had anybody do my makeup, and I feel awesome. I love it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, y'all.